Hello everyone, welcome back once again. And uh, today's topic is we are going to learn about uh, comparing string in Python. Okay, so we will learn about uh, comparing between two strings and we will also learn about the ASCII values because so before, before comparing the strings, we need to understand uh, what are ASCII values. Okay, and we are going to learn about the functions that is CHR and ORT. Okay, so let's get started. So basically first what we are, we are going to understand is the ASCII values which is an American standard uh, characters for uh, information interchange. So that is ASCII which is a standard uh, which is a standard of uh, you know values ASCII values. Uh, the, uh, it is a values of your keyboards basically. So whenever you type any key that is a key A or key B. So there is a code that is associated with that particular key. So whenever you press any key, so that a particular code, uh, you know, goes to that, uh, goes to the processor and then the processor actually understand which key has been pressed. Okay. So uh, before comparing the strings, we need to just understand uh, what are the ASCII values. For example, what, are, what is the ASCII value for the character A or character B or a capital A? right so what we are going to do is we are going to use the function that is uh, we are going to use the function chr and ord okay now ord and chr okay basically ord means um, you know ordinal value now ordinal value um, indirectly means the ascii value so if I want to know the ASCII value for, for example, I just print it on the screen and I will use the ORD and I will straight away give the small a. Okay, and I will run this program. So if you run this program, we will give, uh, we will get the ASCII value for a. Okay, I'll just save this first. Okay, just I will save it with test.py. And uh, now you can see the output. Okay, so here is the output that is 97. So 97 is uh, the ASCII value for A. Now this is in a decimal um, format, this is the decimal number. Indirectly, it is actually gets converted into the binary number and that instruction goes to the processor so we are not concerned with that we are just okay we know that the ascii value for small a is 91 and it goes on small a is 90 sorry 97 so small a is 97 and uh, then b will be 98 okay and c will be 99 and so on so let us let us just uh, let me just print this in a pro proper format that is uh, ASCII value okay oh, no. okay uh, from a okay from a and uh, I will just print the capital A now this I am checking for capital A okay and uh, it will go till just understand how how I am printing the message comma it will a to Okay, A to uh, Z. Okay, I'll just give this way. Uh, maybe capital A to B. Sorry, to Z. Okay, A to Z. So, we'll print the value as A. And over here, again, I'll just copy paste this. And I will get to know the values from A to Z. So, let us see this output now. So if I say from A to Z, so it is starts from 65 and goes till 90. So capital A starts from 65. And if you if you uh, talk about the small a, the small case, uh, I'll just print here small a, okay, and small z, and this I'll print uh, change the message. I'll make it small case. Okay. So you can see, uh, okay, there it is. So uh, we will always have this message uh, just to understand the ASCII values. So capital A starts from 65 and it goes till 90, that is Z. 
small a starts from 97 and goes till 122 okay so now and if, if we talk about if I want to know any uh, character for any uh, ASCII value like 65 so if I just use the CHR so this will be reverse of that so it will print capital A I'll just show you the output CHR so it's a reverse of that you can see it gave me the character capital A okay so CHR 65 will give uh, you know capital A and if I give a 97 so it will give me it will give me that is small a okay so these are the ASCII values and now we will learn how to compare uh, strings okay comparing strings is like uh, if I use an if statement and I say small a is equal to and uh, small a that's perfect right or um, what if, if I just I'm not using an if statement I will straight away print uh, small a is equal to small a so this will produce me the output like a true or false straight away it will print something that is true or false either of the two okay so this makes a lot of sense so this is ASCII value for a small a is 97 okay and over here also we have 97 so 97 is equal to 97 so definitely uh, this will give me the output that is true so if you see over here that is a true right that is true so what if if I say B now this will be 97 and this will be 98 so obviously they are not equal so I'll get the value that is false right but what if if I have a string now this is just a single character that I'm comparing but what if if I have if I have a uh, you know if I have a string so if I say a b c okay and over here I will give a b so in that case what would what will happen is it will uh, just see for the uh, ASCII value the highest ASCII value that the string can have so if you see a b c now c this is 97 98 and this is 99 and over here the highest ASCII value will be 98 so this is anyway not equal to a b right but what if, if I do something like a greater than that's a, a relational operator greater than right a b c greater than a b so this has a maximum ASCII value that is 97 98 and this is 99 and over here highest ASCII value is 98 so this should give me the output as true so you can see over here we got the output as true so simple and what if if I make this also if if I make this as uh, a b c now that is capital a capital b capital c so capital a is 65 this is 66 and 67 still even this a has 97 so it's bigger than that and the highest uh, ASCII value we can have over here is C that is 99 so anyway this is this will also turn out to be true you can see over here okay so you have to just see the highest character the highest ASCII value in that particular string okay since C is 99 and over here this C is 65 66 and 67 so it it is this condition will be true and if I give less than and in that case I will get the output as false you can see over here we have the value as false so this is how uh, you can compare the values okay uh, what if I can also use not equal to not equal to and if I give over here ABC is another uh, relational operator ABC so this will give me the output that is false you can see over here right because it is equal to uh, so even if I use any any anything a capital words like a b c d e and over here a b c or just a just a and I say uh, that uh, this is greater than this okay so now there are around five characters and this is a but if you see this is 65 66 67 
68 and 69 this is 69 but this is 97 so can you guess the output it will give the output as true okay so this is how the comparing works so now you can use it for comparing your strings normally there won't be any situation where you will be act actually using the greater than or uh, you know less than uh, operator or less than equal to or greater than equal to but uh, most of the time you will be uh, required to you know compare the equal to or not equal to but yes there might be certain situations that you will be uh, required to use the uh, uh, the greater than operator or less than operator or greater than equal to or less than equal to okay so this is uh, how we can compare strings in python and uh, we have learned today about the ASCII values. So I told you that the ASCII values of uh, small a or capital A to Z is 65, starts from 65, goes till 90. Small a starts from 97 and goes to 122, right? So we have learned about the CHR, which is the reverse of that. You give any number and you can get the character of that and the ORD that is ordinal which indirectly means the ASCII value you give the character and you will get the uh, the ASCII code for that particular character you can it's not like you can just give any character like if I give E or if I give G right and you can get uh, now this will show me the wrong message that is A to Z it is actually not A this is a uh, this is a uh, G right A71 so you can get the ASCII uh, values with the help of the ORD function and the CHR function. And comparing of streams is looks a bit complicated, but it's very easy. You have to just see for the highest ASCII value that character um, in the string has, and you can just compare that ASCII values, and you can get you can easily guess the output. Okay. So that's it for today. I'm going to stop it over here and uh, next uh, tutorial let's see what we can come up okay bye for now so if you have liked my video do subscribe to my channel there is a subscribe button in front of you click it right away and after that click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos bye for now